uh, head gasket, head, heads and head gasket. Um, portholes is this hole to the front. It could go. You could put it on this way. That would be incorrect. The little hole here goes up front. That would be correct. Oh, correct, correct, correct. Um. Mm. Okay. Oh my goodness, that thing weighs a couple pounds. <laughs> oh, <geez. clears throat> Man, you needed to work out. Good grief. <clears throat> wow. Is that right? Yeah, they're. So the manual doesn't say anything about Permatex. I'm glad because I don't really like this stuff. Um, but it does say about, well, that's bulky, isn't it? It does say about uh, everything has an order. <clears throat> Let's see. How they want you to torque it. In your torque specs so this would be the i have the grade 8 12 point head bolts so that's 100 115 torque if you have flange nuts or hardened washers it's 100 ish and then your order at 50 percent to 70 percent of your torque so that would be like 60 pounds you go one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. What, nine? Where's that nine hiding up here? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They want you to torque it so that you don't warp the, the head. So there it is. And bolts. And I broke my golden rule. I did not. <laughs> I actually did not uh, mark my bolts. <laughs> Yeah, so I've got, and I'm going to have to actually check this because I don't have, they're not all the same length. Um, huh. What a dork. Um, that would be, um, got four of their four, four short ones that go on that side. Oh, I didn't mark my bolts. How's that? I think I'm going to double check it, but I think it's this. <laughs> well, that kind of doesn't make sense. Okay, look what's happening here. I'm an idiot. This is why you always mark your bolts. This is why you always mark your bolts. What a dude. All right. It's the process of elimination. There's four short ones. They would go only go here. One to that gum me always mark your bolts I say that I still always say it a thousand times and I don't do it so then I have <laughs> these four are, are longer one I could there's a couple of ways you can figure this out you can go read and read and read and read I don't feel like it uh, the manual the case manual would tell you or you can use common sense so these would be here because the valve cover, 
Why does it not look great? Hmm. This would get there because of the valve cover. I've got too short and long. Why does that not look right? Hmm. That looks better. There's my long. No, it's not. Well, I'm now going to have to. Oh. Right here. Right like that. That's how you room. <laughs> That's right. You should be the same. Boom. Boom, boom. That would be correct. Always mark your bolts. Always mark your bolts. I did not do it. Um, so your order will be, as the paper said before, I'm actually a little frustrated with myself. That was stupid. See, when you don't mark your bolts, you just start having problems that you shouldn't have. So the torque goes boom, 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 and so on. Cool. I'm going to double check this before I torque it down. I already told you what the torque specs were. I want to make sure I didn't do something stupid because I feel like I'm doing something stupid today. But, hey, it's where we live in. Thank you. So check this out. I wanted to, I wanted to just show you guys how much I was being an idiot. Like, these are all correct. I got them all incorrect. If you look across, and this is how you would know, if you look across your bolts, look across your bolts, if you have the bolt in the incorrect spot, for example, here, it would not line up. Some of the valleys in the heads are deeper down in, depending on what. This would be incorrect. And that's how you can tell your bolts here are in a line. These are in a line. These are in a line. Before you even start screwing them down, and I'm going to say this again, always mark your bolts. And, uh, yeah. So now I feel confident enough I can go ahead and torque it down and I'll be happy-ish. So, cool. <laughs> yeah. Always mark your bolts. Mark your bolts. Okay. Um, I don't want to sound like I'm beating a dead horse, but it seems that way. I noticed real quick, right when I turned the camera off, that <laughs> I did not double check. And you always have to double check. Do you see this bolt here? <laughs> there's a washer on this one, and there's no washer, no washer, no washer. Because I did not mark my bolts, I just pulled them out when I took the head off. To take to the machine shop. I just took all the bolts out and threw them in a box. And I, I didn't mark them because I knew, knew that they were head bolts. I knew it. But what I did not realize at the time is that I believe when I took this head to the shop, when I took the bolt out, the washer stayed in there and because it, it was full of grunking uh, grease and all that kind of crap. So I don't have the washer for here, here, and here. So that means I can't torque anything down because I want it correct, of course. So I have to actually stop what I'm doing, go out to the store, and purchase three washers. So, again, I normally do mark everything. I got lazy a couple times, and I started throwing crap in a bucket. <laughs> I'm telling you, mark your bolts. I, I know that sounds so dumb and stupid, 
but it really does. For instance, I'd have this torqued down and I'd be moving on to the next thing, but I, I can't. I, I want it correctly. Um, I have to stop and go get one, two, three washers. Three simple, three simple washers. Boom. That stopped my whole pro project. Three washers. So, you know, motor building is not that tough. Uh, it really isn't if you use common sense. But it also isn't tough if you make sure you have a clean workspace. And I, I say this and laugh and I get crap everywhere. But <laughs> have a clean work area. Um, mark your bolts. Put your crap where you know where it is. You know what I mean? I, I feel like I'm barking at myself. I'm, I'm just mad that I didn't mark my bolts. <laughs> and uh, I have to stop and go to the store for three washers. But other than that, it's all good. Uh, yeah, mark your bolts.